Okay, so this is the second game. Um, yeah, I'll just make it one big video, and it's going to be a longer video you can watch or listen to on the side. Uh, although, again, 2000XX. Okay. This is Gourmet Sentai Baryu. I think this game is now also uh, available on Pico, from Pico, where they release old games or they release fan translated games or whatever. Officially, they get the rights, but... Okay, this theme is kind of interesting. I know there's a translated ROM, but I just wanted to put in the original Japanese, so... Apparently, it has kind of like a steampunk setting. It's something more wins. Okay, Virgin Interactive, Japan. Okay, again, I'm just looking at options just for... Um, and I forgot... Um, I cannot speak a lick of Japanese, so they have some English stuff, but I'll just I'll just go start one player Okay, so who do we go with? Um, I saw more players. Maybe this is a port from an arcade game. I Go with this guy. I'm guessing she's the medium but Okay manly strong man graphics are pretty neat I wonder if this is a car arcade port. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I think this is definitely from Pico that, that they have released it on Pico. I'll get I'll get it eventually from Steam now. Um, apparently, I, if I remember, they they are supposedly gourmet fighters or something. I mean, Sentai means I guess food superheroes or heroes or whatever. I don't know. It's pretty neat. It's pretty easy. I'm just facing one enemy, so. It was 2.86 for voting, so it's still easy. Uh, just like with Sailor Moon, where it's not simple, which is one below that. It was voted easy, although sometimes the votes are not like, it might be 50-50, but... Yeah, this is pretty easy, You just at least for first level. Again, we're just playing until you get to the continue screen to get this done. I like the themes, you got a robot clown head. Okay, got little punching sounds. It's also cool to do this kind of stuff. Um, I'll, again, I put the list down, and I put the uh, link to the um, page. So if you disagree with the difficulty, you can maybe go in there and vote. Because I didn't find many good lists on easiest games or just listing games based on easy. Okay, this was a bit like Choaniki style, like uh, so some kind of weird shape shifter. But I do like the theme. Graphics are pretty neat. It's just a bit crazy, but I like it. Again, we're not going to play with old characters and whatever. We're just playing until I... Wait, is he beating him up? Okay. Oh, is he my friend now? Is the clown my friend? Okay, it's an AI bot. Okay. That's kind of cool. I was beating him up, but he's my friend. What am I doing? That's kind of a neat feature. That's something you don't have often. Maybe more modern ones, but... I mean, you're just beating one or two guys, and they don't, are not too aggressive. Um, I'm guessing this guy is the strong but slow type, in comparison. Um, but yeah, so far, game is about the same difficulty. Graphics and sound are pretty neat. Setting is a bit out there. Reminds me a little bit of Choaniki. There is some friendly fire going on, which is definitely... I don't know about if Sailor Moon has friendly fire. That's definitely would put difficulty up, but not that bad, usually, depending on the game. Uh, because here, the character is a little bit smaller, like in comparison to Final Fight, where it really becomes annoying. But then it also means that the game can be easier in single player. Now you probably know the, the most difficult games on this list, um, but this is still, we got a long head away from us, so. Again, I said I will put this up in one video, but probably it's going to be really long, so. Eh, fuck it, I'll just make it a, as like a mini Let's Play series. What is this little guy jumping around? What the fuck? Is he an enemy? This must be the tiniest beat-em-up enemy I've seen. 
the tiniest enemy in any sort of fighting game, other than what I've seen in Mu Mujin. Like there you see like there were some joke characters that are like pixel size, literally just a pixel or something. Animation is pretty neat, and it is pretty easy. The enemies don't do too much. Um, I do like this little guy. Okay, I'm sorry for fuck's sake. Okay, you you got him. You got him, dude. My clone. I mean, they even give you an AI assisted bot, and the AI is not that bad. I mean, simple. Okay. Fighting a robot, which has a big screen as a head, so she's controlling it from somewhere else. So definitely, yeah, 2000 XX. So it's more sci-fi themed, but definitely on the weirder thing. Now this is a game I would probably explore just for the weirdness of it, but also it's like quality-wise and gameplay-wise. Okay, I don't know what this is. Um, oh, maybe I can buy power-ups. Oh wait, gourmet thing. So this is... Okay. Very good, good sir. Oh, well, wait a second, this is like, this is like, um... What is it? Fucking, um... River City Ransom, then. Oh, I get it, whoever punches it gets to be the clone. That's kind of neat. What's with the fucking Ant-Man sized micro midget guy? Definitely weird enemy. And these small enemies can be really a pain. But I mean he's flexing, he's doing his shit. See, this is pretty good AI when he's not interfering with you, so he doesn't hit you because you do have friendly fire. But it should work because again the characters are smaller and as long as you do the rule I do left side you do right or I do upper right you do lower right and shit and when I'm on one guy you don't help because then we'll just punch each other overall a neat game a bit weird but I like it um, with these guys it has a bit of a Cho and Iki feel okay there's some onions garlics maybe you have to collect I wonder if it has ris because you're gourmet fighters. Now I want to get the uh, Steam version because I think they, they got the translated wrong because it was fan translated. Because um, I think the reason why they didn't even attempt to release it in the US because the setting was too weird. I mean, look at this shit. D! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Wait, I can do a slide. Yeah, okay, that's why I could do that. Yeah. He's running. Listen to the mine. Wait. Okay, maybe, maybe, okay, because you're gourmets. Now, I haven't understood the old text, but from what I understand, again, I probably could have done the translated ROM. But... There we go. He has low health as he should have as a fucking microman. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. And you can co okay, so I'm guessing you collect food ingredients to to give them to the chef who cooks them. Oh, he's carrying a mine. It is a guy with a mine. This is so cool. Or maybe is it? Oh, it's a plate. Is it mine? Or is it both? Okay, now we have a little bit more enemies, and there's some tricky ones with the explosion. Nothing too bad yet. The AI is having issues, but the, it's the AI, so... Now he's doing the Russian dance on me. So the little guys are a little bit annoying, but... Oh, he just walked over it. He didn't even slide. Cool. So at least... Okay, let's see if I can get... Okay, a robot feet. The villains are building robots. Okay, these guys. This is actually a pretty neat game just for weirdness. Um, it's flexing Cho and Niki style. Very homoerotic style, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, of course. Um, 
Yeah, it's probably better if I just do it as like a quick series. But quality wise, again, nice graphics. The frame rate is pretty good for Super Nintendo. Okay, second boss, I think. Yeah, second boss, because I, th I guess between levels you get to go to the um, cook, and then if you have the right ingredients, he can make you something, and then it boosts your stats. Which is pretty neat. River City Ransom style. And this guy's a little bit tough. I don't even know how many lives I have because I can't read the kanji. However, he's not too bad. You just don't, shouldn't stay close to him because every time... He doesn't have any ranged attacks, which is... Okay, yeah, that was a bit strong. Oh, now he, like, sucked. Oh, I get it. So he's, like, he's got a penis syringe. And he went full re. Okay. Oh wow! So you just get like a couple of lives. Still so far pretty easy, but I don't know. Like I would have to check the translate run for settings. Eh, that one is a bit questionable. So far the fights weren't that hard, but I wonder about how many lives and with with things and everything. So. Yeah, yeah, you're starting a new game, so maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Game itself was pretty easy. However, if that's how many lives you get in total with no continues, that might be might need to put it a bit up more up into the difficulty. But then again, I would have to change the tech to settings. This one is kind of questionable with difficulty, probably depending on how long it is. Um but beat em ups usually are not that long. But still, probably still nice to play, difficulty wise. Anyway, so I'm gonna stop here and then go with the next video. Yeah.